so in today's video <laughs> I decided I would do a prom makeup look this is just an overall general look that would kind of match any dress in my opinion and it's pretty simple to do so I decided I could show you better if I used kind of a model so I'm using <laughs> my friend Taylor in this video so thumbs up for her being a good sport <laughs> all our social media and stuff will be linked down below if you guys want to see this prom makeup look then continue watching before I did anything, I placed tape on the outer corners of her eyes, and this is just going to provide a clean line, and then I've moved in a bit of a random order, so I started with eyebrows, and I just combed them out with a spoolie. To fill in and shape the brows, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe, and I'm just outlining her brows, filling them in a little bit, and then I'm going in and cleaning them up with concealer. For the concealer part of the brows, you just want to line under them and over them, kind of just shaping them and providing whatever art you want, and this really just highlights them and makes them really precise. Moving on to eyeshadow, I applied Mocha from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and this is just a nice transition shade so the eyeshadows will blend seamlessly. Then going in with the darker shade, this is Bordeaux from the same palette, I tried to stick to that palette only. Now I'm just applying that right in the outer corner and eventually dragging it up into the crease. Moving on to the lid, I'm using a really shimmery champagne shade from the same palette and I'm just taking that all over the lid and into the inner corner. Taking a bronze eyeliner pencil, I'm using that to roughly outline where I want my liner to go and then I'm taking Kat Von D Tattoo Ink Liner and this is just really pigmented and black and I'm applying a pretty thin line, it's not too dramatic and then I'm just winging that out. I'm applying that same crease shade underneath the eyes and this just kind of smokes it out a bit and makes it a little bit more dramatic. I'll let her apply her own mascara and after that you're finished with the eye look. Moving on to face, she already had foundation on so I'm just using MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer to provide a highlight and I'm doing this underneath her eyes, on her chin, her forehead, and her nose and this is just really going to help when we contour to just bring out her features. Next, I'm just setting all that liquid product with powder and I'm using just a light highlight shade. After this step, I began applying bronzer and this is not really to contour as much as it is to just provide a nice tan and kind of warm up the face. Next, I'm moving on to the actual contour and taking a really small dense brush and just outlining her cheekbones and kind of sculpting the areas that we went over before. Next, to add just a little bit more color into the face, I'm applying kind of a neutral mauve blush and I'm just taking this kind of at an angle. For the last step of the face makeup, I'm just applying a highlighter and this is just gonna really bring out her cheekbones and apply a nice glow. Thank you. 
Moving on to lips, I wanted to keep it mauve, so I lined her lips with Dolce K from the Kylie Lip Kit, and then I'm going over that with a liquid lipstick by the Balm, and this will just ensure that it lasts all night, and this will really match any dress. 